Ryan Garcia and Robert Garcia have shared their expert insights on the highly anticipated bout between Ben Davis and Frank Martin. Both fighters are brimming with confidence in their ability to secure a knockout victory, setting the stage for a thrilling matchup that promises to be an instant classic. Robert Garcia believes Martin will be Davis's toughest opponent to date, citing Davis's strategic opponent selection as a factor in his relatively limited popularity. While Garcia acknowledges Davis his impressive skills, he thinks Martin's wealth of experience and talent will make for a fiercely competitive fight. Shakur Stevenson, the reigning WBC lightweight champion, predicts his swift and decisive victory for Davis dismissing Martin as a C-level opponent. Stevenson believes Martin's late start in boxing will put him at a significant disadvantage against Davis and himself who started their careers at a younger age. Errol Spence Jura has also weighed in suggesting that Martin is ready for big challenges like Davis or Stenson, which could catapult his career forward and offer significant financial gains. The stage is set for an electrifying showdown between Davis and Martin, with both fighters exuding unwavering confidence the world waits with bated breath to see if Davis will emerge victorious or if Martin will pull off his stunning upset. No odd people keep saying Keen Davis, I mean he a good fighter, I like him. But like you always talk about a ball, I'm only 5 and no I'm only 6-6 six, six and 0 whatever he is 7 and 0. He always say that so if he fight Frank and Frank beat him, he going to say it on, on. I was on Errol Spence Jira hints that even exceptional talents like Sheer Stevenson can stumble when facing formidable opponents. Emphasizing that every fighter has thresholds, he suggests that Stevenson's skills may not be tested until he faces someone who can push him out of his comfort zone. Devin Haney believes Tank Davis will emerge victorious against Frank Martin, citing Davis's sense of experience and skills. Haney thinks Martin will fight hard but lacks the elite-level experience to overcome Davis while Martin has faced tough opponents like Ryan Kessler, Romero, Duno, and Jackson. Arenas Haney notes that he may not be prepared for Davis's level of competition. Frank Martin disagrees, stating that Davis isn't the most powerful puncher. He's faced Martin has sparred with Davis and knows his skills but believes he can compete. He mentions a Mexican boxer named Pablo Ryan, who he considers a more powerful puncher than Davis. Ryan Garcia predicts a Martin win, citing his personal experience training with him. Garcia asked a reporter if they've sparred with Frank, emphasizing their familiarity. He believes Martin will win because he'll be in his corner guiding him. Eddie Hearn, the promoter, thinks Davis will easily defeat Martin, but acknowledges the fight's lower stakes. Hearn offers Davis a significant amount to fight Conor Ben, potentially earning up to $25 million. However, it's uncertain if Davis will accept, considering the lower stakes of facing Martin Leonard Eller, CEO of Mayweather Promotions, believes Martin can't beat Davis. Citing Davis's superior skills, Ellerby praises Martin as a good fighter, but thinks he's no match for Davis. He recalls previous lightweight contenders like Ryan Garcia, who confidently claimed they could beat Davis, but ultimately fell short. He fights one way, he fights one way, he's a very, very aggressive. He's very aggressive. I mean, Roley at Roley and his trainer have been working on ways to counter that kind of stuff, and he's not going to just continually run up in their own really Leonard Eller. A renowned and esteemed figure in the boxing world has publicly endorsed Frank Martin recognizing his outstanding skill and talent as a fighter Herb is vigorously defending Martin against criticisms and doubts arising from his recent bout against Herb Herrick Tunin, where some fans and critics have questioned Martin's performance and ability by standing firmly by Martin's side ER is sending a strong message, dismissing any excuses or doubts about Martin's capability, and emphasizing that every fighter including Martin possesses inherent talent and deserves respect this endorsement not only showcases Eller's confidence in Martin's abilities, but also highlights his commitment to recognizing and supporting talent in the boxing world. Eller's stance is a signed significant vote of confidence for Martin and his acknowledgement of Martin's skill and talent serves as a reminder that every fighter has their unique strengths and weaknesses. Despite the criticisms, Martin has shown his resilience and determination, and Eller's support is a testament to Martin's potential and capabilities as a boxer by recognizing Martin's prowess. Eller is showing his appreciation for Martin's hard work, dedication, and commitment to the sporter's endorsement is a significant vote of confidence for Martin and a reminder that every fighter has their unique strengths and weaknesses. Despite the criticisms, Martin has shown his resilience and determination, and Herb's support is a testament to Martin's potential and capabilities as a boxer. I'm not going to comment on none of that, because again, the focus is kind of what the focus is, and when that time comes, Tango, let you guys know what he's doing. I know I've talked to you about it a lot of times. We're going on to end it to give you guys a little, little teaser. Tank Davis's team is exercising caution in selecting his next opponent, carefully avoiding fighters who could potentially end his impressive winning streak. While this strategy has worked well for Davis, so far fans are growing increasingly frustrated with the one-sided nature of his recent fights. They're eager to see Davis face off against opponents who can push into his limits and provide a genuine 
genuine challenge, Leonard Eller, a respected figure in the boxing world, acknowledges that every fighter possesses some level of SK skill and shouldn't be underestimated. He's particularly impressed with Frank Martin praising him as a dedicated and talented boxer who always gives his all in the ring. Martin's commitment to his craft and his determination to succeed are traits that Eller admires and respects. However, despite Martin's capabilities, Herb has doubts about his ability to overcome Davis. He describes Davis as a versatile fighter with sharp boxing intelligence, capable of both boxing and brawling. Davis adaptability and skill said make him a formidable opponent, and Eller believes that he has the edge he needs to come out on top. Despite his reservations about Martin's chances, Aller is eager to see Davis return to the ring and continue his winning streak. He knows that Davis has what it takes to put on an exciting show, and he's confident that fans will be treated to a thrilling display of boxing skill and prowess. As the anticipation builds for Davis, his next fight fans are eagerly awaiting the op opportunity to see him in action once again. Frank Mara is a good fighter, he's a very good fighter, and owns some of the things I've been hearing lately just about him just you know from just browsing it's like people want to make excuses, now they want to make excuses, no I don't make no for who Stephen A. Smith, a devoted supporter of Devin Davis, lauds the boxer's exceptional blend of strength and tactics. Smith highlights Davis's impressive record of dramatic knockouts, showcasing his ability to thrill the masses and solidify his position in the boxing world. According to Smith, Davis, the fights have become significant events that captivate both dedicated fans and casual spectators alike. Sean Porter, a former world champion, offers a fighter's perspective, emphasizing the importance of composure and defensive strategy in Davis's upcoming fight. Porter believes that Frank Martin possesses these traits and notes that Davis's explosive power and ability to land decisive of punches under pressure will be crucial in the battle. Max Kellerman, a seasoned boxing analyst, predicts a strategic showdown with Martin employing his skills to stay competitive in the early rounds. However, Kellerman believes Davis's inherent strength will eventually overwhelm Martin, leading to a technical knockout in the mid to late rounds. Ah, oh, a fight like that, you know, you know, style wise, yell. Yeah. Like H, what happens? He's a good boxer. He's a slick boxer. Tank can do all of that, though. Yeah, Tank can do all that. And then you know, T Tank does what he does. Frank Martin shares his experience sparing with Davis, describing it as good work and expressing confidence in his ability to match Davis's skills. Paul acknowledging Davis's power and timing. Martin doesn't consider him the strongest puncher. He's faced despite this. Martin remains optimistic about the encounter, showcasing his understanding of Davis's abilities. What do you think of a fight? We go. We could go. We could go. Do you know, I just fought the title. Eliminator or whatever for the WBA, so we can go with that fight. Look like it'll be a good fight. It'll be explosive fight fast to fast fighter. If you enjoyed this video, why not explore more of our engaging content on display? We have a wide range of exciting videos to discover and we're confident you'll find something that resonates with your interests. Thank you for watching and we wish you happy viewing. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications so that you never miss out on videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.